Josh, so why is it that this uh, non-duality teaching is not, it's not for most people? And the reason is because it's the mind that takes these teachings and principles and thinks that because it has a mental grasp on this or that it agrees with it or that it believes in it or it can somehow on very small level mentally understand it even though the experience isn't backing it that leads to the belief in the the superficial feeling that like i got it and that's a that's a that's just a bad trap man because that can go on so long Okay, because it's like the ego hides in that and it's really hard to catch it out and it's very subtle, you know, and then you get around a group of people who are doing the same thing and then everyone just thinks they're enlightened, you know. <laughs> uh, this, this is so subtle, these pointings. You, you already got to be at a certain place to where you can absorb this. Like, <clears throat> grace has to like prepare the consciousness to be able to absorb like these you can say highest teachings because they're so direct it's like it doesn't it doesn't sniff out the subtle uh, karma that the ego is still hiding in you see that has to happen through introspection through you know meditation you can say just sitting quiet with yourself can you do that how do you feel how do you feel when you just sit quiet with yourself do things come up if things still come up that stuff has to kind of be shed uh, allowed to be um, expressed and, and, and dissipated now then so, see this is the problem again the, the mind can say the non-duality can say oh but none of that matters it's not really real you have to discern. You have to discern at what stage we're at in our evolution. And the ego doesn't want to admit, like, yeah, I still have some earthbound work to do. You know? It just, and it hides behind the, the, the teachings where it, the, the non-dual principles say, you know, this is, none of this is real. We're already enlightened. Why, why focus on uh, things that aren't real? Yeah, because those seemingly things that aren't real are still seemingly relevant. So you have to catch those things out. And I'm interested in talking to those people who have enough self-honesty to where they can um, admit that, you know. So, some of the, some of the, like, the work, <laughs> I have a real, I can't watch some of these videos. I just can't. Uh, I mean, I, <laughs> I watch a little just to, just to be like, oh, wow, but... I don't know. There's something super unattractive about uh, I call them the spiritual foo-foos, where they uh, <clears throat> again they think that the mental understanding equals realization. It's like I'd rather listen to any unauthentic person talk besides them. <laughs> it's just something something about it, you know. But I would watch I would watch how they they would do like they would tape their um, consultation and they would just they, these people would not be helped at all at all anything they would say the non-dual teacher would just say but it's not real and they'd say well but you know what about I'm like looking into a screen right now I'm seeing you yeah but th that's not real though there's no screen there's no you there's no me there's no talking I mean, how does that help you? Like, what is that going to do for you, you know? And, and, and I see them, they get, they, yeah, they, lead, they end the conversation and the person, they don't have anything. They don't, they just feel more confused, you know? And I pray that grace will, well, grace will, but I pray that it happens fast, that they get um, something inside shifts them to uh, a, a teaching that's more appropriate for the stage they're in or a teacher. Because otherwise, you can go crazy. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen it. I've seen it. It happens in these non-dual uh, teachings where the, the the people they they just they lose their mind. They get you just get all twisted up and confused, man. And especially if you're already kind of um, you know extra sensitive, maybe you, you could. <laughs> there's some people they they're on the brink of a breakdown like a lot of the time. 
And so then these teachings can can send you over, you know. And then who knows? Then maybe the mind will justify and say, oh, this this <laughs> this is my awakening, you know. Yeah, it's it's man, it's scary how the ego and the mind can imitate. You can say the pure self, pure consciousness, because you can have somebody like Jesus or or Buddha or Krishna or Ramana Maharshi or Papaji or Muji, whatever. You can have them given a discourse that's just powerful because they're one with their words. You can sense vibration. See, we gotta we gotta recognize vibration. This is the saving grace. This will spare you from wasting your time with people who just have it mentally, but there's no there's no vibration to back up what they say. So you can have these teachers expounding like just the real deal. Then you can have a group of people doing the same thing who aren't one with the vibration, but they can be saying the same words. Not only the same words, actually, they could be even more articulate because maybe their mental capacity to articulate things, maybe they have an education and they have the ability to grasp these things so they can break it down in a seemingly even more clear way, seemingly. So then the mind, the mind, they, it's easy to get... Uh, sun's coming you see it the the mind can uh of people if you if you only understand things through your mind if you don't have a sense of vibration then you you're going to pick the person who looks like they're more intelligent you know muji doesn't have an education papaji never really had they they talk very simple <laughs> what about nas nas nasagata nasagata <laughs> i guess i never can say his name what about him he's no education but dropping, pff, the guy's so powerful. Like, I can listen to him. You see, why is that now? What, when I turn him on, I haven't listened to him for a while, but now you're reminding me. I need to listen to him. Little, little guy, looks funny, smoking his beaties, coughing, <laughs> you know, but dropping major science compared to some <clears throat> Ivy League, you know, talking about uh, uh, non-duality. Like those people, man, I just go to sleep. I get a stomachache, actually. But Nazagarado or, or some, you know, Papaji or Muji, they don't have educations. But man, I'm like, even if their video quality was, was so bad I couldn't see, I, in the audio, I'd, be, I'd have my ear listening. Because something inside, like, yeah, they got it. You know, so you got to listen to those people that 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 will get you your that'll feed you. Of course, we got to see there's people. They, they can't tell the difference. They don't know the difference. In fact, they'll say they'll say not Naza, <laughs> Naza Sagrada uh, or Muji or Papaji. Like they'll be like, no, nah, they don't know what they're talking about here. No. Look at these guys. They, 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 these, these, they know what they're talking about, and they're just total, just mind talk. These people that they're thinking that knows what they're talking about. So there has to be. We have to reach a, a point in the evolution to where there's, we can discern, we can hear vibration, we can sense vibration, and that's how you know if somebody's good. That trumps nationality, age, the way you're dressing, education, all that. Just so meaningless gender, all that. Doesn't matter. Vibration. That's it. Vibration tells you if something's authentic or not. And then your whole life becomes easier too. People can't really lie to you. You know? And then if you're getting also you can, that, that bleeds through in everything. You just know foods. You don't need to see the label organic. You just, you can tell like, okay this food's good. Especially if you taste it. Relationships. If you meet somebody new and then maybe they look they look really good exterior, but you scratch the surface, it's like, whoa. So you can see all that, you know. Got to read vibration. That's what we're going to do. Have a good day.